Hey guys, we are back on the Vanilla with Sprinkle server and I have some really amazing news today, but it's it's also comes at a, uh, a little bit- oh, there's another egg, amazing. Comes at a little bit of a uh, kind of a bad situation. <laughs> I saw a 168 Quetzal. It's flying above the oasis. It's kind of heading towards the winter biome. That could be bad, but uh, we're going to deal with that later. But the problem is I don't have anything that I can solo tame this thing with. Um, it's- you can't- I don't think you can do the grapple method anymore, at least I don't want to try it because I don't think it's gonna work very well. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna actually have to borrow somebody's tape jar. I've asked Mind Melt, he said I can borrow it, which is amazing. Thank you very much, man. And uh, there's also another issue, we have a really crappy rifle, but Mind Melt has a really good rifle blueprint, so we're gonna go over there and actually use that and we're gonna pay him for the rifle and everything. So. Kind of situation solved. I would have liked to have a tape jar by this point. I was actually gonna try and tame one pretty soon here, but I just like I can't not tame this Quetzal. We just we just have to tame it. So yeah, it's a 168. I think it was a female, and it's flying above the oasis. So it kind of you know there's a lot of stuff that we need to do. I'm gonna need to um, make some more darts, which is really handy because Evo actually turned up with the order that we put into his shop the other day, with the a thousand darts that we ordered. <laughs> oh man. So we're going to turn some of these into biotoxin darts, or whatever they're called, um, what are they even called again? Shocking attract darts? We're going to turn them into some of those, and uh, then we also have our kibble already, um, get more eggs here as well. I have a Apprentice Quetzal saddle, which I think we pulled out of a drop in the water. Uh, is there anything else that we're going to need? I might need to bring some stuff to make a trap. I'm bringing some fur armor in case he flies us into the into the like uh, winter biome or whatever but our our plan is because I'm pretty sure this method actually does work you hop onto a passenger seat on the tape jar and you can like a whistle attack my target or else whistle move to and just basically direct yourself after the Quetzal and just keep shooting it so luckily with the better rifle that we're gonna have from my melts blueprint that's gonna mean that we're gonna be able to knock this thing out quicker but I'm still kind of betting on this going bad somehow so yeah Quetzal tames are difficult, especially solo, and I do want to try it solo because I haven't done that since the flyer nerf. So, um, yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. All right, so I'm going to just get to work here. We're going to turn some of these darts into biotoxin darts. I have my kibble. i got to probably bring some extra ammo for my snipers just in case we run into some trouble. And then we got to run over there on Mystique with some materials to make up this rifle. Just a lot of prep work that needs to go into this team, but um, I'm going to get this all done and we're going to be back, but before I leave you, make sure that you guys hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. Um, oh, i got to eat as well, apparently. So let me just grab all these. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're here at Mine Melt's base, which by the way, holy crap, this place is nice. I've never actually been over here. Uh, oh, I was over here at the start when it wasn't built up like this, but man, it looks really great. Man, holy crap. Check out Mind Melt. His name's on the members list if you guys want to see all of this, because this is seriously cool looking. But anyway, he's got his tape jar up here, which turns out to actually be Neo's. Yeah, he actually did mention that it was Neo's, but I'm sure we can still use it. <laughs> We're gonna board the... Oh, actually, wait, no. We gotta put this thing into a whistle group first, right? Um, Alright, so let me do that. So modify groups. Um... Add to group. I guess I'll put them in group one for me. Let's just fly out of here really quick. And then, oh my god, look at all these walls. Holy crap. This is cool. Uh, let's fly over here. I just want to have a look for this, um, for this Quetzal before we actually start doing this. So he was flying towards the winter biome. Oh, hey, there's a yellow drop. I want to go. Oh, there he is. Look. Perfect. Okay, so he's flying back. All right, so that's, that's really good. I'm going to get behind him in a couple minutes, and then we're probably going to try to, uh... Uh, oh, okay, whatever. Kind of bad. Probably gonna try to, um, to kind of, like, guide him towards, uh, you know, then he's going towards the swamp. I don't know, there's really isn't, like, a great place to guide him towards. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe, uh, I don't know where a good spot would be to try to down this thing. I mean, I looked it up. With a normal, uh, rifle, it would take 39 shocking trank darts, which actually, I, I didn't think it would be that low. thought it would be much more than that. But uh, it's only going to take 39. That's kind of crazy. Um, oh, he's heading towards like that mountain there. Okay. So with this, it should probably take maybe 30, maybe a little bit less. I'm not exactly sure. And if we get headshots, it's going to take even less. So apparently, shocking track darts are really good. I, I never knew that. So we need to board his uh, front passenger seat. 
So where do I, okay, so, oh wait, no, that's the rear, never mind. Need to board the front one. Uh, there we go, cool. So if we, how do we get him to like go up? If he's, okay, let me see. Hey, that's not gonna work. I think I need to get him to just like not be landed. And if we can hop on here, why can't I like, okay, there we go. So if we start getting him to whistle move two, does that not work? Does that not work anymore? What? Oh, apparently it doesn't. Okay. So I think we have to whistle from the ground then. We're going to have to whistle attack my target from the ground. That is, that's not good. Also, I do quickly need to make some parachutes. So, uh, crap. I'm going to have to do that right now. <laughs> oh my God. I think we need hide for that. Uh, I'm going to get this done. We'll be back. Okay, so right now he's like pretty close to the ground. I might be able to whistle attack my target from here. Oh, you know what? I wasn't on a whistle group. That's why. Oh, okay. Here, hang on. That's probably why. Wait, let's do this. And... Um, front seat. That's probably why. I'm an idiot. Holy crap. Alright. Attack my target. Let's go after him. Perfect. All right, let's get this done. All right, let's get try to get a little bit closer first. He's gonna go towards the winter biome for sure. All right, that's our first hit. Holy crap, we're doing it, guys. I that one counted, or it didn't count, but it did hit. Please don't go down the water somehow. That one didn't count either. Fly, fly you, fly. <laughs> Stay away from me. I'm dangerous. Did I hit my guy there? I think I might have. Oh, this is difficult to try to get around. The I'm trying not to hit the tape jar if that's possible. All right, this is a good spot. Um, can we? No. <laughs> I don't want to hit the sail. That one didn't count. No, stay away from me. I'm very dangerous. I can't spot him at all. There he is. Okay. Ah, these are not counting. It's stupid desync. God damn. Okay, that one counted. Perfect. Alright, so we're probably gonna have a couple desync uh, shots like that one right there. <laughs> but in general, it seems to be pretty good. Now, the only question is, we have to watch the stamina on Neo's tape jar. That's definitely something that we need to keep an eye on. I do have those parachutes now, just in case um, it starts to drop me. That one, that, I see the blood. You guys can see the blood too. They're just not counting though. It's stupid server desync. Always happens with Quetzals though, for sure. Which is really annoying. So yeah, this is a Quetzal solo team. Look at this. This is crazy. Can we go after him, please? What are you doing? Whoa, server save. Okay. Yes, we got him. No, stay away from me. I'm dangerous. Stop. Let's keep flying. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. This is working out pretty well. Uh, hopefully we don't down him near a Giga. This is like Giga Mountain right here. Uh, these are not counting half the time. Maybe when I start to get too close to him, I can whistle passive. And uh, possibly... Nope. Passive. Okay. I don't want to hit him too much because like, I can see he's already a little bit bloody. There we go. Come on. They're not counting at all. I gotta hit him. Uh, stoop, no. Passive, stop. Don't hit him. Ah. Desync, man. Holy crap. Alright, let's, let's go after him. Follow that cab. Ah. Okay, well that was the shot of the dark right there. Come on. Hold your stupid head still. Stamina on this thing's not draining. Does that not happen if you're a passenger? Stop! <laughs> Oh my god, if these darts would actually like like hit, that would be great. Or like count or whatever. They are hitting. Okay. Oh, come on. Count. I can see the blood. <laughs> no, stop. Don't. Ah, look at that. That's so dumb. Come on, come on. Hold still. That was a total headshot. 
All right, follow that one. Come on. I, I'm hitting like half these shots, more. Then I'm missing probably like biddable amount, and then like we're getting one or two hit markers. Like I'm, oh, that is so dumb. Oh, I don't want to do this method again. This is stupid. Look. Come on, go after him. Come on. I can see the blood every single time we're hitting. It's just not counting. What is happening? <laughs> Follow him. <laughs> ah. Come on. Work. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Like, I'm hitting them. We haven't actually got a hit marker in, in, in like, ages here. It's just not counting. Let's go after him. Come on. Stupid. Come on. Alright, that one counted. It seems like maybe it doesn't work when I hit his back or something somehow. Alright, he just turned there. That's fair. Okay, let me hit him directly in the back. Oh, no. Passive. Whatever. Go, oh, oh. Come on, come on. There we go. If you see, if he goes too far out, I won't be able to, like, turn myself. <laughs> come on. We hit some darts here. Don't, don't, don't. No, 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 no. Stop. Come on. Okay, that one counted. Come on. Reload and follow him, please. Come on. There. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't imagine doing this on official with the server lag that you guys get. This is still pretty bad. Hey! Follow him? What are we doing on stamp? It doesn't seem to be draining at all. What the hell's happening? I saw that hit! It's so stupid. Come on. Follow him. Come on. Oh my god, like, most of these are hitting. Come on, give me a break. Alright, follow him again. We might be at this for a while, guys. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I don't know what what point I should be, like, cutting and just coming back later. Oh man, come on. Yay, that was a headshot. That's perfect. We need more of those. Oh, no. Okay, he moved. <laughs> should I follow him? Okay, I missed that one clearly, but... That one hit, I heard. Oh, come on. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to be your friend. <laughs> Let these darts count when they hit you. Oh, man. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. I guarantee this is going to just continue to not work. Stop, stop. All right, well, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we're back, and oh my god, where the hell is he even going? We've hit him a good few times now in a row, I think. Like, we've been missing every so often, but it's really, man, this is difficult. Especially, oh, look at that. Like, that was a perfect hit, but it just doesn't count. So dumb. So usually what I've been doing is I've pretty much just been letting the tape jar hit him, because that's the only way I'm able to actually hit one of these darts. This is like so stupid. <laughs> getting frustrated just even trying to do this. And I'm getting frustrated as well because he keeps flying over this stupid river. <laughs> like, look right there, we got him. Oh, no, I thought he was gonna start flying. That was the, oh no, crap. Fly over there, fly over there, perfect. We can also do the, you know, the whistle move too, but it's really finicky and stuff. I prefer to just whistle attack my target because the whole move two thing, it's like, I don't know, you can't accurately, like, place one of these, like, I guess markers or whatever, because it just goes to a certain distance or something. It's really, it's, I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to do this again. All right, let's try to get passive, because we're kind of above him. It really seems to only work if I'm, like, above him. Like, even right there, that was a perfect hit. It just doesn't count. Like... It's nothing to do with aim, it's literally just to do with whether or not the server wants you to hit him. Like here. That's a perfect hit! God damn. 
So I'm just gonna continue to do this. I thought he might go out just there because we have hit him quite a few times. Hit him in the head a couple times, which is surprising, but um, I managed to actually do it. Let's move to above him. There we go. Let's just try to get above. Hey, that counted. Uh, attack my target. There's one. Ugh, I'm just wasting darts now. So he should go down here pretty soon, but uh, I don't know if he's gonna go down any second now. So, no, stop. I don't know the shortcut on the keyboard, by the way, for the uh, for just turning things on passive. So, in case you're wondering why I keep opening up the wheel, like I literally, yeah, I never use that. I just keep using the wheel. Are we going after him? I think so. All right. So if he goes down this area, that's not gonna be the worst. There are there are hyenadons, which are gonna be pretty dangerous, but um. I don't know, we should be able to deal with them with the tape jar and with my rifle and everything, so... <sighs> Alright, we'll be back when this thing finally drops. And of course that didn't hit. Okay, he's just dropped... <sighs> literally two seconds after. Where is he? I can't even see him. Where did he drop? Go down to the ground, come on. Where is he? Where did he drop? Oh no, where is he? Don't be in the water, please. Please don't be in the water. I don't know where he is. He definitely dropped though. He's not in the water, I, I can see. He's definitely not in there. He's not near that Rex. It's super hard to like spot where he dropped because um, he just started to drop and then I flew past him. So I guess he's probably up on this hill somewhere. Oh god, please do not be getting killed or something. I don't need this. Alright, where? Okay, let me just start killing the things around here. We got a scorpion, we got a saber. Let me just kill these things. Best to just kill everything because he's around here somewhere, I just don't know where. Also, you can't go into K mode when you're on the uh, passenger seat, so if I could, I would have been able to spot him easily using that. Uh, I really feel like I should kill that Rex, too. Stupid Saber just die already. There you go. Oh, man. What is that? That's a raptor he's killing. He's not hidden over here somewhere, is he? He's definitely not here, right? exactly where he dropped it just happened so suddenly I barely even had time to hit record well nothing's being killed around here that's the good part he's definitely up in this hill somewhere though for sure oh man I think I'm just gonna keep looking for him because this might take a couple minutes and we don't have a huge amount of time before he's gonna wake up I think Quetzal's wake up pretty quick what's that Rex. What will you? 66? Uh oh, we have to land for stem. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just kill this Rex and I'm gonna have a look around, try and find this guy. Oh, this could be really bad, though. <laughs> Man. Alright, well, we'll be back once I find him. If I find him. I see him. He's right there. I just killed the Rex, and he's, like, right there, hidden in that rock. Perfect. There's an RG over here I'm gonna kill. Um, anything else on the ground? There's an explore note there. I never even knew. Let me kill these stupid bugs. The Rex is just lying down there. All right, let's kill this guy, the star bear. You just kill all the RGs around as well. All right, that guy's dead. So the Quetzal should be intact, like nothing's attacking him now. So that means that nothing while is attacking him. That is like, he blends in really well there, guys, seriously. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, well, at least he is okay, or she, or whatever. Okay. So that RG's dead. Nice! Oh man. 
All right, let me feed it really quick. Okay, so we'll drop in some kibble, drop in some biotoxin. Yeah, he's on 100%, perfect. Okay, well, we just gotta wait for this thing to tame up now. It's gonna take a little while, obviously. I'm just gonna start pumping in a bunch of biotoxin. Nice. All right, so, uh, oh man, we got it, guys. We freaking got it. It's a really nice color as well. It's got kind of like green and black. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna just like step back here a little bit just so I can keep an eye on the area. Like this RG right here might have come over and killed it. Or at least hit it. So, uh, oh, I gotta pretty much just kill anything that's around at this point. We might get that explore note for it as well once we have it tamed. So this Quetzal is gonna mean that we're gonna be doing some, you know, kibble tower stuff. We gotta build that kibble tower at some point. And then obviously I have mentioned that we're going to be doing some live streaming on here to try to just get every single creature that we're going to need because it doesn't really seem like an interesting video. Just a r bunch of random kibble taming. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan for all of that. Oh, man. I'm excited, guys. This is, like, completely spur of the moment. I wasn't planning on trying to get a Quetzal today, but I'm glad that the other guys were able to help me out with a tape jar and a rifle blueprint. Thank you, Mind Melt and Neo, I guess. <laughs> this is Neo's one. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a bit. And this thing's fully tamed. Oh man, amazing. Hey, we got it guys. We freaking got this thing. Holy crap. I'm gonna name it that and uh, we're gonna just name it Boeing. <laughs> oh, amazing, all right, here we go. Let's, uh, I gotta hop out of the inventory. Enjoy, buddy. Holy crap. Okay, let's check out these stats here. So it's got 10K health. Stamina is pretty good, 2480, nice. Uh, oh, that weight's really good, nice. And that melee seems pretty good as well. Amazing, okay. So now we have the very slow journey all the way over to um, Mind Melt's base <laughs> to pick up Mystique and drop off this Thyla. And also, crap, I forgot to leave the money that I brought over for Mind Melt as well. We brought him over 50 coins, so uh, yeah, I gotta drop. The hell's that? I just heard something, like stomp. Oh, hey. Get off me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Go on passive. Come here, buddy. Come to me. Awesome. So, yeah, uh, we're going to drop off all this stuff over at Mind Melt's base, and then we're probably going to check this guy out and try to bring it around for a little bit of, like, leveling and such. And um, definitely just, like, I guess be pumping weight pretty much. Like, there's nothing else I really want to pump. I guess maybe a little bit of stamina, but we'll see. Oh, man, I'm so excited. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so there's an alpha over here right beside the oasis, and I've just weakened it enough with my rifle, and now we're just gonna go in for the kill with the Quetzal. Hopefully we can manage to kill this guy. I mean, he might be, I don't think he's mate boost or anything with all these other raptors, but those raptors are alpha boosted, which means that I can do less damage to them. All right, stupid tape jar, get out of the way. Tape jar is on passive, so he doesn't help. Come on. Any second now. Yes! Awesome. Alright, I don't really care about the loot. Alright, let me kill this raptor there. Nice! Okay. Let's see. How many levels? Let's wait for it to come in. Oh, are they in? Nice! Only three? Really? Okay, whatever. That sucks. <laughs> we got like three levels from killing an alpha. I know it was a low level, but still. Jeez. Alphas are never the same. They used to be amazing, but now they're not as good. It's okay. Oh man, seriously, this has been a long trip because this tape jar just keeps flying into this Quetzal's butt. It's uh, it's kind of annoying. Look at this, look, he's, he, he's just sniffing the Quetzal's butt the whole time. Now he's just inside of me, okay. I don't like that. <sighs> okay, so we're really close anyway. We might as well just keep you guys here. So we're just passing over the oasis. Uh, Mind Melt's base is like right over here, I think, this direction. Nice. Cool, so um, also, soon enough, we're going to be coming over here to build up our kibble shop, which I'm really excited about. I'm trying to think of a location. I think maybe, I, I don't know, that flat spot over there by the cliff is like a, it's also a pretty good spot to put it. Um, but we, we used to have our little scarf shop there, which we had to remove the other day because our the rest of the otters just starved. But, um, yeah, I don't know, actually. Maybe we'll build it there. I don't really want to keep building in the same spots, but I don't know. Nobody else is building, so we might as well fill up the place a little bit. There's Mystique. We can see her from here. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, leave Boeing right there. We got to get this tape jar off 
of Boeing. You helped out quite a bit. You were very helpful. Thank you, Tape Jar. Yeah, let's move it over here. I think this is the spot where it was. Oh, it was in here. Right here. Perfect. Okay, now we gotta leave this money somewhere for Mind Melt. I'll probably just tell him I've left it in his smithy. So, there you go, Mind Melt. Awesome. Okay, there he is. He's got all these, uh, all these scarves over here himself. He could nearly make a new Sin Scarf shop under new management or something. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so we have Mystique. Can I not climb up gates? I thought I could. Oh my god, I hate gates in this game. They glitch the crap out of you. That's a really cool looking Anki. Got like Scion on its butt. Right, so let's get Boeing. We gotta get Mystique back to base, and then we can probably take Boeing out for a little bit of a leveling session. I have actually stopped off at a mountain to actually grab a decent amount of metal here. Just because, I mean, like, it has really good weight. I might as well just use some of the levels while I'm on my way. And, uh, and just gain, like, gather up just a bunch of metal. Because we're going to need a huge amount pretty soon for all the projects that we have coming. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a long trip. I'll, I'll see you guys in probably about seven hours when I'm back at base. <laughs> oh, man. Mystique's looking at his butt as well. What is with this Quetzal's butt? Why is it so attractive to all animals? Look at that. Mystique, leave him alone. <laughs> Oh god, that was horrible. <laughs> Mystique is flying, I think. No, she's on top of the... Okay, she's on top of the chemistry bench. Holy crap, it takes so long to fly on Quetzals. That is just insane. Man. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have to let this thing regen some stem. Let me grab this, 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 this. Chuck on um, some meat. There we go. Have a little drink, even though we don't need it. All right, you good? Almost. Holy crap, that took ages though. Man. All right, it's almost done. All right, that's good enough. So, the next step is, obviously, we need to start working on that kibble farm. We're not gonna start doing that today, but I wanna do that pretty soon. So maybe after this video goes out, I'll probably live stream soon after that, just to try to get a start on all the kibble bits, because we have a lot of creatures that we need to tame. like. There's so many kibble egg creatures, it's it's just ridiculous. So we're probably going to just start with like the basics of like tri-stegos and all that stuff. Um, and then eventually we'll get into all the like higher quality ones like um, like tape jars and like RGs and all that stuff. Uh, and then eventually we'll do like brontos and, and those bits. I'll probably end up just doing those by myself because I couldn't imagine that would be interesting on a live stream to like watch. <laughs> Like, watch me tame a Bronto and then, like, walk it across the map. That would be even slower than this thing. What's that? Okay. It's a bug. Oh, man. Alright, so... What is over here that we could fight? Oh. Weird little bit of a laggy freeze-up. Better not pick this guy up, actually. I won't be able to hit him. Alright, now there's just bugs everywhere. So, there are some really good creatures around here, which is pretty handy. Like, Rexes actually spawn around here, but what we can do for the Rexes is we can just breed some of our low levels over there. Or else, actually, no, wait, no, we'll end up just chucking those Rexes that we tamed up the other day into the farm. So, Rexes are pretty much done, I think, then. Yeah. Uh, so, then there's, like, other creatures, like, turtles are all around here. We have Therizinos around here, which is handy. Um, we have Parasaurs. We have, like, Trikes and Stegos around here, too, I believe. Uh... And then there's like a bunch of other creatures that are kind of in around the area, like Ichthyornis will eventually have to get some of those. And um, I think some Carnos spawn over here. But we need new snakes eventually, because I think all my snakes starve to death because I forgot that they actually... Apparently they take eggs, not meat, even though I thought that they took meat for some reason. I don't know. Alright, let's see. We've got one level, amazing. <laughs> that neck, that is so weird. All right, what do we got over here? See something behind this rock a second ago. Also, we got like dillos and compies and everything around here, which is handy. Thought I saw something walk behind this rock. It definitely wasn't that turtle. I'm trying to see if there's something that's gonna give me a decent amount of XP. Even an alpha raptor or something. We have some paraceratheriums over here. I guess we could fight those guys. But um, yeah. Just in general, like, a lot of creatures around for some XP, a lot of creatures around that are going to be easy to tame for the farm. Uh, then there's, like, the more awkward creatures that I'm going to have to go out pretty far to get. 
that's okay though. And then there's like cave creatures that we have to get, like Mega, what are they called? Megalosaurus, Megatherium, or Mega, no, Megalania is the one, not Megatherium, they don't do eggs. So yeah, holy crap. I'm gonna have to make like a big document or something so I know what I have and what I need and everything. Oh man, this is gonna be such a giant project, it's gonna be insane. But it's gonna be really fruitful as well because we're gonna have lots of kibble for pretty much everything and we're gonna be selling that to make money as well and a new shop and everything. Man, it's just, this is just like amazing. There's just so many things coming up here. It's holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh man. All right, so it might take a while to kill these guys. All right, come on. Any second now. They're like knocking me back. Maybe I should fly. Oh, I still get knocked back when I'm flying? I didn't know that was a thing. You know what? Maybe what I could do is I can hop off really quick if I can get away from them. I think they're probably faster than I, than I am. Wait, no. Not really. So we get away from them for a little bit here. Pull out my rifle. Damage them a little bit. We can start smacking them again. This one here is almost dead, so let's focus on him. Come on. Yes. Oh, now we're knocking him out. Look. He's like getting knocked back. Alright, so he's pretty hurt. <laughs> ah, leveling a Quetzal. This is like so slow. I don't want to level any melee as well because I kind of think that's pointless. Just keep leveling weight here. Let me try and get a reload on the rifle and we'll just do that really quick. Maybe I'll just leave this guy around just to passively level for a while. Can I like, maybe reload that please? Thank you. There we go. Nice. Come here, Mr. Parasaur. Parasaurotherium, I said. Some more? Nice. Okay, we should be able to kill him now. Come back here. Any second now. This is very slow leveling. <laughs> Come on, die. <laughs> What? Okay, my mouse flew off the screen somehow. Nice! Alright, well that's enough leveling for today. That is just so slow. <laughs> oh man, well you know what guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. This thing was really stressful to tame. I don't like having, like, uh, the darts wasted and everything. That's just so dumb. But, um, yeah, we, we got him. He's a pretty good Quetzal. We're gonna obviously eventually tame another one if there's a high level around. Um, but maybe next time we won't be doing it solo like that. We'll probably either use this or have help from somebody. We'll see. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, you can subscribe. And uh, also check out the merch. We dropped the merch store just the other day. It's been going really well so far. Make sure that you guys check it out. It's really awesome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. If we can kill this pego in this video, that would be great. There we go. It's a on actually. Never mind. <laughs>